Hey, what's up guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over Sunset Noontide, an easy rated room in Offensive Security's Proving Grounds. We can check the difficulty rated by the community here. It says easy. Once we start the instance, we get an IP. And Proving Grounds is kind of different from Hackthebox, as in there's a bunch of IPs in a subnet so we don't just scan one IP and get a bunch of services. We have to scan the whole um, subnet, right? So for this, we want to specify an asterisk at the end. So we're going to do nmap. We're going to do default scripts. We're going to do verbose mode. We're going to put the IP in asterisk so we can scan all the IPs in the subnet and output it to a file called snmap. So once the scan is complete, we see that there's a port open 6667 IRC on IP.120. We can copy this down in sublime. Let's do IRC on real IRC. And then for dot two fifty four we see SSH DNS HTTP and HTTPS. We can just copy this and let's specify the IP. So now we have that. We can go straight ahead into enumerating port 6667 IRC. Search exploiting for this gives us a small list of exploits that we can use right away. However, we're not entirely sure of the version number running on this service so in order to get the version we want to go head to google and let's type in irc command line after some searching around you find this irssi chat client right um by the way if you wanted to know what irc was it's the internet relay chat, which is a text-based chat system. It allows uh, people like to join a virtual room or call it conversation channels and have discussions, right? So if we head here and we go to help and we want to connect to this server, right? Running on port, let me see, 667, 6667. We want to connect to it. Let's try to connect to it. And if we scroll down, we see very easily that all we have to do is use slash server, connect, and specify the IP. Or, yeah, just specify. So let's do that right now. If we do that, we do IR SSI. Let's connect to it. And all we have to do is slash server connect and let's grab the ap that irc is running in and it says that the connection was established that's a very good thing we can wait for this scan to finish so that's uh where do we where's our sublime for this we can do version once the scan is complete we see that we get a version 3.2.81 which seems to be the same version for three of the exploits we've seen on search play so let's copy this down and put it in our notes so now that we know this is the version we can do search play again paste it in uh, let's add a space and now we're left with these three so this one is a uh, stack overflow let's try to avoid this one so we're just, we're left with remote download execute and backdoor command execution using metasploit however we do not want to use metasploit we want to do this all manually what we want to do is maybe search for this exploit on github and see if there's a uh, some manual code that we can um edit and get a shell with so that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to do copy the version again let's go to google 
and do backdoor. Well, let's do exploit and see if we get it. Exploit GitHub. Um, so this is the exploit. No, it's not this one. The exploit is backdoor and command execution. GitHub. Is it this? Is it this one? No. Unreal. We could do GitHub. Um, let me see. Let me check my notes real quick. Okay, so we search up backdoor command execution. Let's do this, GitHub. And we're greeted with this GitHub repo that tells us the exploit and it looks like all we need to modify is this local IP and local port. So if we go to raw, copy this, and download the code. Looks like we're successful. And now all we need to do is modify this exploit code. So for this, it looks like we only need to modify the uh, port and address IP that we are listening on. So for the port, port we could do 1337. For the IP, we can make sure using ifconfig and it is dot 49.245. So if we copy that in, that looks like all we need to change for this specific code. Yeah. Okay. So let's see this. Okay, that looks good. So now we can save it and exit out. Now we should run a netcat listener. So there's the all wrap and see N NVLP. Let me specify there. NVLP 1337, the same port that we specified here. By the way, if we wanted to search up a little more info about this exploit. We can also do, uh, we can do here, and it will tell us a small description of what this exploit does. Um, this module exploits a malicious backdoor that was added to the Unreal IRCD 3.2.8.1 download RG archive. So that's what we're exploiting. So now that we have this, let's see what do we need in order to run this code exploit three and it looks like we only need to specify uh, which payload either Python netcat bash the IP and port over the remote server so for this we're gonna do slash payload bash we're gonna do the IP which is what we wrote down earlier um, this one And then the port, which is 6667. And that should be everything we need in order to get a shell. Let me see. And look at that. We get a shell as, we can click who am I, as server ID. You can see what groups he's in. So now, that we have a shell in the server all we need to do is we can run some simple some simple commands to see how we can elevate privileges a pseudo command I found in one of the other simplest things you always want to try is default credentials for root or admin so we can try to elevate privileges as root and use the password root and it looks like we're successful now if we 
use this, no, give me a second. If we use Python 3, what is this here? In order to get a fully interactive CTY shell, and then we do bin bash, we can see that we are root. So now we can do ls, we can cat the proof text, uh, cat proof, we get that, and then we can do cd into root. Uh, where is root? Wait, we can do, let me see. Ls la. Now we can see the into root. We got the proof. So, oh, we have to go to user, hold up. CD home, CD server. I think, okay, and then we get the local text. Okay, so that's what I was confused. So that's how we get both flags. Thank you guys for watching this simple video of this room exploiting a vulnerability and running on real IR CD, the version, let me see, what was the version? I think it was like 3.8, uh, 3.2.8.1. And we were able to escalate privileges using default credentials root root when using SU, elevating our privileges. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I start PWK tomorrow actually. And if my upload schedule is kind of crazy, well, it's because I'm probably reading the 800 page PDF. Well, thank you guys and see you next week.